Lawmakers head back to the Capitol tomorrow for day three of this special session on public safety. There are over 200 bills and another 100 plus joint resolutions. Right now, all of those bills are going through committees. There are 10 committee meetings here scheduled for tomorrow, but so far not a lot is getting through those committees. Many bills are getting tabled without lawmakers even talking about them. Our Brendan Tierney is live at the Capitol and Brendan, talk us through this second day. Marius and Tracy, there were several committee meetings here today, but not much got done. As protesters were battling for their voices to be heard, lawmakers pushed back. Mr. Chairman, I move we lay on the table the bill scheduled for today's calendar. Uh, that is a proper motion. Is there a second? Second. There is a second on that. Those in favor of the motion say aye. 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 Oppose lock sign. Motion passes. In less than 40 seconds, a Senate committee scheduled to debate a bill on mental health and public safety decided to table every item on the agenda and dismiss its members. Hey, Mr. Chairman, move adjournment subject to the call of the chair. All those in favor of adjourning subject to the call of the chair say aye. 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 Those opposed say no. Ayes have it. Committee's adjourned subject to the call of the chair. In fact, most gun-related bills did not make it past this first full day of the special session. Republicans blocked more than 50 bills without any debate during one meeting, giving this explanation. Well, we didn't have time to really look into every one of these bills. They were very complicated. In other committees, members of the public battled over the new rules. I still see some signs. Two people were thrown out of the room for holding signs that said one kid is greater than one all zero, the guns. Four, Later in the meeting, the remaining crowd clapped when a bill allowing guns in schools was voted down. Are we going to quiet down and listen or are we going to sit there and clap? All right, uh, troopers, let's go ahead and clear the room. Kicking out everyone, including Covenant school parents. It would interrupt student learning, drive teachers out of the classroom, and put our schools in more danger, not less. After that incident, people started getting creative, keeping signs in their laps, and only holding them up during short recesses for members to get legal advice, making sure their voices are heard, even if they say a piece of paper is now more regulated than a gun. Three bills did pass out of the Senate Judiciary Committee today, including one on safer gun storage, one that will have the TBI get faster notifications of crimes, and another one that will implement new human trafficking laws. Those will all be heard by the full Senate tomorrow afternoon. Live at the Capitol, Brendan Tierney, WSMV4. Marius. Brendan, thank you so much. And if you're heading to the Capitol, you'll need to keep several new rules in mind. First, the House closed off half of the gallery in the chamber. You can't hold any signs or posters. And you also can't have any noise amplification devices like a bullhorn. These rules are getting a lot of criticism. Some say lawmakers are focused on the wrong thing. And it just seems like we have everything in place to do something and we refuse to do something. Other criticism comes from the African American Clergy Collective of Tennessee. They say the state needs to do something. It is time for our state to address gun violence as a public health issue, that we may be able to collect the type of data and research and funding and assistance that is necessary 